and welcome to Sin 7 Core. In this video, we'll help you to get started by going over a few high-level features that we encourage you to test while evaluating Sin 7 Core for your needs. Before we get started, you may wonder why my menu layout looks different than yours. Each user can customize the appearance of Sin 7 Core to fit their preferences. You can change the color of the icons, as well as the navigation. Currently, I have my navigation in a vertical, which means that I have the icons as well as the menu options listed there. And once you click on the icon, your menu options will appear. Now let's take a look at what the horizontal navigation looks like. Here I've got a list of my menu options and I would click to expand to see more options. As soon as you log into Sin7 Core, you'll be on the Overview Dashboard. This dashboard has a variety of Key Performance Indicators, or KPIs, which can give you a high-level overview of the health of your business. You can see a list of your sales orders and purchase orders in different stages, your bills and orders, as well as some quick links to things like your products, suppliers, and customers. Let's start by taking a look at your inventory and your products. Your free trial has already been loaded with a variety of products so that you can try out the software with test data. If you're a retailer or wholesaler, you may stock your shelves with ready-to-sell finished goods, while manufacturers may have more complex bill of materials or bombs. We have loaded a variety of these different types of products in your free trial. If you're a manufacturer, please feel free to check out these product examples with more complex bill of materials. For today, let's scroll down to the list where we can see various finished goods such as boxing gloves. We can open the individual boxing glove and learn more information about this product, such as the costing method. We support FIFO, first in, first out. FIFO, first expired, first out, as well as special. You may also notice that we support serialized and batched products. Let's go ahead and start by creating a sales order for boxing clubs. So we'll navigate from sale to simple sale. You can create a new customer by filling in all of the required fields or you can select one of the ones that's been preloaded for you. Be sure that all of the required fields, which are indicated by the asterisks there, are filled out. For today, let's skip the quote and just create a sales order. If we scroll down, this is where we will start to add the items to our sales order. We can add and start looking for our gloves. Once we start typing in the product name, you can see an image, the product name, as well as the SKU and the price. Let's select these. You can use either your tab key or your cursor to move to the quantity field. Let's order 10. Now that I've added my items, I'm going to authorize. Now we're ready to pick the boxing gloves off of the shelf for this order. So we use the pick icon to move to the next step. You can auto pick, which means pulling the items as well as the quantity from the sales order onto your pick list, and you can authorize. From here, the next step is to pack the boxing gloves and get them ready for shipment. Again, we can copy from the pick list the items as well as the quantity, and authorize. Now our boxing gloves are in a box ready to ship to our customer. Since it all fits in one package, I'm going to select individual package and authorize. Last step is to send the invoice. Again, it's pulling over the products, the quantity, and we're going to hit authorize. Next up, let's create a purchase order so that we can fill our shelves with more inventory to sell. We would navigate to purchase and simple purchase. 
Again, we can select a supplier from the list that's already loaded in your Sin7 Core trial account to get started. And be sure that all of the required fields are filled. Again, you have a number of options, such as accounting details. Do you want to stock first or do you want to invoice first? Today, let's do stock first. And for shipping details, you can actually select a blind receipt. Let's move further down and start our order. Let's order some more gloves. Again, I can tab or I can use my cursor to add a quantity of, let's say 100. The price is already there and let's authorize this purchase order. This will then be sent to our supplier and then they'll send us the stock. So the next step is for us to receive the stock. From here, I can copy from my purchase order the product as well as the quantity. I authorize that I've received the stock, and the next step is the invoice. Since this is just a test database, I'm just gonna type in a few numbers and select today's date for the invoice. I'm going to copy over the product as well as the price and quantity, and double check to see if there's any tax for an extended price, and there is. So we're looking at 1100. I'll add this total for my invoice and authorize. And there you go. Now that you've got the basics, I encourage you to test these steps out a few times with different products. Then, whether you're a manufacturer, retailer or e-commerce business, wholesaler or distributor, please check out the instructional video playlist below. Thank you.